What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we made our way through the Galar Mine number two, and got to do a little bit of training and all that stuff, too, on screen. Now, here we are back in Motostoke. Uh, there's no city or town or anything. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so used to calling a Motostoke city, town, or something like that. And, but yeah, whatever. So here we are, Motostoke, and now we're going to be going in for the third badge right here, guys, because we already visited Motostoke. We already took care of all that stuff. We have to go to the Badoo Inn. That way, uh, you know, a day can progress and we can actually battle the next gym leader. So here we go, going into the Badoo Inn. I think that's what it's called. And Well, hello there. Hello there. Would you look at that? Our gothic girlfriend, Marnie, is here. Uh, Challenger Draven, right? I'm giving you all even uh, this late, huh? Hey, help with something for a sec. I want to see if I'm ready for the next leg gym challenge. Sure. Oh, wow. Her eyes got all big and... Wow, there's a... Uh... <laughs> oh, wow. Wicked got some fighting, you, huh? Okay, so here it is. We're going to be battling Marnie again. And she... Okay, so she is looking gothic as always. And, uh, well... Here we go, Krogunk on its way. And here we have Drago. Okay, so here we go. Let's get this. Alrighty, so super effective on the bulldoze right here. Let's go right ahead and use it to make sure this uh, Krogunk doesn't even beat us that much. And uh, well, look at that. Its speed has gone down. And here comes its Vanishock attack. Holy crud. Very powerful attack, and thankfully we are not poisoned. So here we go. Bulldoze. And there goes Krogunk. Finally winning some matches right here. <laughs> okay, and uh, well, of course, we, we did equip Drago with the Shell Bell, so it's it's good, it's good. And Optimus, of course, is going to be growing some levels right there. Now here, she's about to come out with Scraggy. Let's go right ahead and use good old buddy Shadow Blade right here. Yes, we're using uh, type advantages, type disadvantages, and all that stuff. There we go, Shadow Blade ready for anything. Here comes Scraggy. And, well, let's go right ahead and use that Pluck attack. Plickety Pluck, let's go it. Let's get this. And Scraggy survives this one right here. Now, here comes a headbutt from Scraggy itself. And that was pretty powerful, so let's go ahead. And, wow, Marnie, she really does know how to battle this Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead and use uh, Pluck attack one more time. And that wasn't a critical hit right there, but we can go for another pluck. Let's go. Pluck attack. Go. And there we go. Scraggy has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And look at this. Damn it. Optimus Prime nearly grew a level right there. And here she's coming out with a more Pico. Now, that's that Pikachu-looking Pokemon right there. So we're going to be going with Krakatoa right here since I haven't used it quite some time. Let's get this. Krakatoa. Look at this Pokemon right here. And she's like, I'd be it'd be fun if things just ended a uh, jet. Or it yeah, you know what I mean. I can't even talk in this dialogue. It, we, that was the biggest problem in the last episode. Now here we have more Pico. It does have like a, a an ultra instant kind of power. It's kind of scary if you think about it. Now here we go. Hmm, I think this move expressed my feelings. What do you think? So here comes more Pico with a bite attack. That was pretty powerful, and look at that. Flame Body gets it all burnt. Let's go. Lay it the smack it down, and... Wow, more Pico. It gets burnt. It gets hurt. And just because of that, it gets hurt, and now it's like going Ultra Berserk right here. So let's go with the Flame Body, and this guy right here is now using his Thunder Shock, and, well, not so powerful. Here we go. Flame, flame uh, Charge on its way right there. And getting burnt itself again. And wow, it turned into its happy side right there. It's like a two-faced Pokemon. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off with an Ancient Power. And wow, this Pokemon right here is not giving up right now. So Ancient Power, finish it off. There it goes, more Pico defeated. Yeah, buddy. And look at that, two, three Pokemon grow levels. Yes, sir. And... Well, it looks like Krakatoa is learning Incinerate. Okay, so let's go ahead and take away Rapid Spin. 
And there we go, Krakatoa now learns Incinerate, and Optimus Prime grows to level 30, and it's learning Slam. Alright, so this one is very inaccurate, but it does have a lot of power. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm probably gonna have to skip out on that, because it's not really... I don't really like inaccuracies and all that stuff, too, guys. So, there we go. Trainer Marnie has been defeated. You beat me! Guess you... Guess you must not be too bad, after all, huh? Nope. But she's looking pretty awesome. You know, nice and gothic and everything. Guess I'd better get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get some sleep, too. Horara! Alrighty, okay. So, that counts as the next day, as you can hear. That is, um, that is us getting all healed and all that crud. Okay, so, as you can see, the next morning. Morning, Draven. She's looking pretty sweet. That friend of yours already went off to challenge the next gym. Cobb's lead card is supposed to help against him, but I ended up uh, with a few copies. So I'll give you one. Don't look so chuffed. It's no big deal. Alrighty, so we got Kabu's Lee card right here. And take this too, a little something for our battle yesterday. And look at that. Two burn heals. Thankful. Very useful. Bet you'll have no trouble beating that uh, Man of Fire Kabu uh, chap, right? Why don't you get over to Motostuck Stadium and get that uh, gym badge already? Hoorah! Rah. Oh, look at that. Okay, so... Alrighty, so I guess that is a that is a plan right there. And well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at our lead card right here. No, I'm not trying to save the the game right now. So let's see. Going straight to the album, and well, there's Kabu right here. Okay, so Kabu is this guy. Kabu is a Pokemon trainer who was invited to the Hoenn region. There were a few times where he were he was becoming a cl or he was coming or wow blah, 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 blah. can't even speak god dang it there were a few times where he was very close to becoming champion but victory always seemed to elude him at the last moment because of this he adopted a no holds barred approach to battling for a time but even that did not bring the results he wanted he even dropped to the minor division at one point, but after a fantastic battle with Leon, he regained faith in his own potential. His motto is to keep learning and training as long as he is alive. So this guy is, yeah, he was invited from the uh, Hoenn region. So this guy is a Hoenn, Le Hoenn region guy. You, if I'm not mistaken, this guy might be related to Flannery at some point. I don't know. Comment down below if you guys think that's what it is. Okay, so. The stage is set. Let's go right ahead and take on our next gym leader. Now, this is, uh, I guess in the last six episodes, I think it's last six, maybe four or five. I don't even remember, guys, but, wow, three quick gym badges in a row. And, well, of course, that guy's going to keep on waiting for us right there. Okay, so, Lexi, we're going to be switching up our Pokemon right here. We're going to go with Michelangelo. And just le let let's see what happens right here. Let's see what happens. There he is, waiting all smugly and everything. Slow moving, aren't you, Draven? I've already gone and earned my fire badge. That man of fire, Kabu, is just what you'd expect. Nearly got burnt in my battle with him. Even with my strongest team, it was definitely touch and go, but I still won in the end. Get a shift on, Draven. I bet you could beat the man of fire, too. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, so let's see. Provide support for various matches that occur out throughout the gym challenge. Okay, so never mind. Thought they were gonna give me something nice. I really did. Okay, so here we are in uh, Motostoke Stadium. Now we've been here before, except we were being introduced as a challenger. Now, in this occasion, we're gonna be battling. We're gonna be battling for our third badge right here. Now, actually, I don't know why I just went there. So let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. Hey, gym challenger, that's a welcome sight. We don't have too many challengers since our leader Kabu has made his uh, gym mission so hard. But it'll be happy to get you registered at once. I'm ready. If you're if you're here to challenge our gym, we'll ask you to change into your uniform first. Alrighty, time to get in my chonies. Time to get this going right here. Alrighty, back in the chonies. Here it is. You may find the uh, fire gym mission a bit different than the others you faced. In you go. Okay. Alrighty. So. uh... 
Let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and whoa, holy crud! Okay, so I think I remember this one from the other uh, version right here. Okay, so what's going on right here, homeboy? The gym mission for the fire gym it is catching Pokemon to earn the most points. Gym mission. In case you were wondering, you'll earn one point for defeating a Pokemon in the tall grass. Or two points for catching a Pokemon. But you won't be alone in this competition. Other trainers will be joining you in battles. Think about think about what your opponents might do. You might do. And try to take uh, the best action to rack up points. Hmm. Gym mission start. Okay. Alright, bring it. Alright, let's go. Status conditions are the greatest. Getting burnt will land you in real hot water. Okay, so... Okay, so, uh, I, yes, we're going to be capturing some Pokemon right here. Probably, oh, look at that. Okay, I want to capture this guy. Alrighty, so what's going to happen right here is Waterfall. Let's go with a Sandalit. <laughs> and Sandalit right here is going to try to take advantage of me, and I flinched. Holy crud. <laughs> okay, so... That's the name of the game. Okay, capture the Pokemon first, and so let's go ahead and do this again. Sandalit, you have no chance whatsoever. Let's go ahead and make this Pokemon faint. There it is. That earns us, I guess, one point right there. And here comes a bite from us, or it from us. And so let's go ahead and, well, let's go ahead and bite it and try and capture this guy right here. So here we go. Bite attack. Okay, so this is a very, very, very tough Pokemon to try and capture, so let's go ahead and go for another bite. And there we go. We got nobody trying to attack us right here, so now we can try and capture this guy all by ourselves. Let's go and use a Netball right here. Alrighty. Stay in the ball, man. Stay in the ball. Yes! That's right, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. I am throwing out that peace sign. Alrighty. So, we get experience points, and, well, we get ourselves a new Pokemon, and this guy, his name is Sizzlipede. And this guy right here is the Radiator Pokemon. It stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat. The yellow sections on its body, or on its belly, get particularly hot. And, no, I do not want to nickname this Pokemon, but I do want to take a look at its summary right here. As you can see, it is a bug and fire type Pokemon, a rare Pokemon in most regions has flash fire as its ability and well as you can see it does have bite flame by uh, flame wheel bug bite and coil very 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 good moves right there so we're gonna be sending that guy to the box right there and well we claim two points right there for capturing the Pokemon and while we're doing that let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here we do not want to get our our Michelangelo to faint right there so let's go ahead and do that and well let's move on to the next section right here which would be I guess up here and the Pokemon that we're gonna find is a Litwick look at this guy okay so again the name of the game is to capture the Pokemon and get more points than your opponent. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to make Chaka's Pokemon faint first. So here we go. Waterfall. There goes Sizzlebleed. Sizzlepeed. And that right there will um, we'll have, uh, you know, this guy make us, you know, burnt and all that crud. I'm a little annoyed. Yes, I am a little annoyed right now. Okay. Okay, so... Oh wow, this guy has another Pokemon right here, so we're going to have to try and make both his Pokemon faint. So let's go ahead and use another Waterfall right here. And there goes Sandalit. Yeah, I'm not letting this guy give my Pokemon. These are my Pokemon right here. And here comes a Hex Attack. And that right there takes a lot of HP. So now we really have to capture this Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and let's see do I have it yes we do have a dust ball that should be appropriate for this Pokemon right here so here we go dust ball let's get it one two come on three that's mine it's mine damn it okay okay so we are 
Yeah, we we just fainted. Okay, so that's bad. That is very, very bad right there. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with a Pokemon that can't affect very much. Okay, so there it is. Krakatoa looking ready, and here we go with another Dust Ball. I knew that this Pokeball right here would be very, very useful for this mission right now. And two, come on, damn it! Okay, so yeah, this Pokemon will not waste its time to attack us right here. So Hex is doing a good job just beating the crud out of each other. So let's go ahead and use a Flame Charge. Hopefully it can actually do something with this guy. And no, it. Well, it's increasing our, our speed right here, so... Here comes a Confuse Ray. Oh, God. Okay, so that right there is not good. Let's go ahead and use another Dust Ball. <laughs> yeah, I do not want to waste my time just uh, hurting myself just because of the confusion. And damn this God dang Pokemon. Oh, God. So here comes a Fire Spin. So now we are trapped. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, not good at all. So let's go ahead and use Ancient Power. Come on. Let's go, Krakatoa. Damn it. Yeah, we're getting our butts kicked right here. <sighs> oh, Jeebus. Oh, Jeebus, Criminy. Okay, so that... I guess Fire Spin does a little bit more damage than... Yeah, it does a little bit more damage than just a regular Fire Spin that we're used to and all that stuff. So we're just going to try and capture this guy right here. One, two... Three. There it is. We caught him. Yes. Claim victory. That's right. Throw him peace. The peace sign. That's right. Okay. So there we go. We caught ourselves a new Pokemon, and it is uh, Litwick right here. And this Pokemon is from the Unova region. The, the flame on its head keeps its body slightly warm. This Pokemon takes a lost children by the hand to guide them uh, to the spirit world. Oh, crud. The Pokemon you don't want uh, near your Pokemon or your parents or your people or your kids or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure this out right here. Okay, so that's three. And we, yes, we claimed another uh, few points right there. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Definitely need that. So here we go. Give fresh water. Wrong Pokemon guy. There it is. And let's go for a Super Potion. Krakatoa is fully healed. And... Well, let's go ahead and use a revive right here. I'm not going to use that max revive for this gym right now. And, well, let's go ahead. Super potion. And we are all ready. Okay, so. I think we've already defeated her. And now we're going into this section right here. And the next Pokemon we're going to be capturing is a Vulpix. We already caught a Vulpix and named it Zoro. So this one is just going to be a spare for everybody to just see. And this guy's coming out with the Roldy Coley. So, yeah, we got this in the bag. Now, if you guys are wondering, how in the hell did Michelangelo learn Waterfall? Well, I had TRs for it. Plus, I guess Waterfall is a physical attack. I don't know how. But... He actually works better for uh, for uh, Michelangelo's uh, you know stats and all that stuff. So it's, it's more of a physical attacker here, and here he comes out with a Growlithe. And well, let's go ahead and just make this guy faint again. So let's go. Come on, come on, Michelangelo. Come on. There it is. Waterfall. Take him down. Please tell me you only have two Pokemon. Please tell me. And uh, here comes that Willow Wisp. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we're... Oh, gravy. Okay, so we're getting burnt. We're getting hurt. This is ridiculous. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and start start making this Pokemon, uh, you know, go down. And yes, we snapped out of confusion, but here goes a headbutt. And that right there will yeah, lower its HP just a little bit more. So here's an incinerate. We're burnt. We're getting crisp. Holy crap, I smell... Uh, turtle soup right here. Holy crud. And here we go. Headbutt attack again. And it is, uh, yes, it is low enough to actually try and capture. So let's go ahead and try and capture this guy right here. So let's go with a timer ball. Alrighty. Timer ball. Let's get it. One, two, and three. Yes, undefeated. Undefeated, guys. Okay, so that is another Pokemon caught right there. And. Well, Big Booty Balto grows to level 28, and it's learning Charm. Okay, so what does this Pokemon move do? Oh, yeah. 
partially lowers the attack of a Pokemon uh, of, a, of, a, of, of an opponent, and this one is not so much of an attack anymore. So I'm just going to take out Nuzzle for the time being. Again, guys, if you make a mistake in trying to learn a move, you can always learn it back with the move uh, learner right here. And, well, no, I'm not going to nickname this Pokemon. And we're going to send this Pokemon to the box. And, well, we cleared another mission by getting all three Pokemon right here. Okay, so they're all looking at me right here and they're like, Clearing Leader Kabu's uh, gym mission like that, you're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the, the leader of the fire gym. On you go, Challenger. Alrighty, okay. So, before we do anything, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon one more time. So, Michelangelo is uh, going to be the Pokemon that we're going to be using a lot. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Burn Heal. We, do, we already have five, so... So what's going to happen first is I'm actually going to be using... Uh, what was it called? I'm going to be using Drago right here. And then after that... Drago, it does have an, a, a ground type move, but we're going to be using uh, Michelangelo as our final Pokemon to actually Dynamax. So here we are in the uh, the Fire Gym's pitch, as you guys like to call it, and well, holy crud. Fixing up our hair, looking all spiffalicious, and there's Kabu. Where the hell did you come from? Man, this guy looks like a soccer player because... Look at the legs on him. You know this guy's been through some shit. Look at my legs. Shit. Yeah, skip leg day. Do not skip leg day, guys. And, well, there we are going into the pitch. And this guy is just, like, hobbling in there. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. So, here he is. Welcome. I am Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. The fact that you are here means that you bested Milo's grass-type Pokemon and Ness's water types, too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I've tried so hard. And that's all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. <laughs> the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. Wow, this, wow, this place is pretty awesome. Okay, so let's get this. Here it is, the next battle against Gym Leader Kabu. And, well, here he comes with his nine tails right here. Holy crud, okay. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, okay. So here it is, guys. We're ready and ready. ready. Well, we're ready. We're just ready. I'm very, very excited about this one. And, well, let's go. Let's get this bulldoze attack, and well, this guy's gonna be coming out with his Willow Wisp. Ah, oh, Jeebus. Of course, we're gonna be burnt. So here we go, bulldoze attack, lowering its speed, and that that really doesn't do much. Holy crud! Okay, so yes, we're gonna be getting hurt right here. So let's try and lower its speed just a little bit more. Here comes Ember attack. And not so effective because, yes, Dragon-type Pokemon. But here we go again with another Earth... Or not Earthquake, but Bulldoze attack. So here we go. Getting healed thanks to the uh, Shell Bell and getting burnt. No thanks to the Will-O-Wisp attack right here. So again, one more time. Let's get this Bulldoze attack. There we go. And it is super effective. So now Ninetales' uh, speed has gone down quite a bit. And... Well, here comes a fire spin attack, which is uh, not good for us right here. So, what's going to happen right now is I'm going to try... Yeah, holy crud. Okay, so how in the hell am I... Okay, let's go ahead and use a workup attack right here. We're going to we're gonna be increasing uh, Drago's, Drago's physical attack right here. So, here it is. We're increasing our attack. We're going for a special attack. Here comes an Ember attack. And that right there hits us. Yeah, we're getting hit double with this whole thing right here. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Oh, crap! Oh, Jesus. Yeah, so I made a mistake by pressing a button right there. I was going to heal my Pokemon right here, so... That didn't do us any good. Okay. We got this. It's real easy. Let's go with Krakatoa right here. 
Alrighty, Krakatoa. You're looking like the easier Pokemon to actually use in this gym right here since you are a rock type Pokemon too. Let's go with Ancient Power. And yes, you are faster than most of these Pokemon right now. Well, faster than him. And Ninetales right now getting the business. So here comes an Ember attack. Not so effective. Okay, let's go. Lay it the smack it down to this guy's candy ass right now. Bam! And there goes Ninetales. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Ninetales. And yes, we're getting experience points right there. And here comes an Arcanine. Holy crud. Okay. So we're going to keep it right here. Arcanine at level 25. That is a scary thought right there. And it does have Intimidate, I believe. Yes, it does. Okay, so... Rock-type moves it is. Let's go with Ancient Power. And this guy's going with the Bite Attack. So the best thing for us is that we do have a Rock-type capability. It is going to be a little harder for this guy to actually beat us since we have a good defense. And what the hell, man? Stop making us fucking flinch. Oh my god, this is getting annoying. Dude, seriously, quit spamming the fucking flinch. Oh my god. Alright, here we go, Ancient Power. There we go, and that right there increases every single one of our stats right there. Okay, so... Okay, so payback time after we heal up our Pokemon. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, so I probably should have trained my Pokemon just a little bit more before anything. So, here we go, Super Potion. And, yes, we're back in business. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Use your agility. I don't care. In the very end, I'm going to beat you. I will be beating you. So, here we go. Fight. Let's go for an Ancient Power. And, well, here comes a Bite Attack right here. And that... right. That right there doesn't make us flinch, but he got us three in a row. That was bullshit right there. And there goes Arcanine. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so that's more power for us. Krakatoa grows to another level. And, well, Shadow Blade is learning Scary Face. Not going to use that right now. Alrighty, so he's about to come out with Scorch. We're going to be coming out with our secret weapon right here. Let's go, Michelangelo. Alrighty, let's get this. Michelangelo, rock and water type Pokemon, perfect for this gym, perfect for his final Pokemon. Light that fire and get your mo mind moving, Kabu. There must be plenty of yada yada yada. So here he comes out with a Santa Scorch, a fire and bug type Pokemon. Like I said, guys, we have the perfect strategy for this guy because we do have Max Strike or Max Rock Fall. So let's go right ahead and digivolve our Pokemon into its giant form right here. Let's get this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ready now. Or Michelangelo ready to kick some butt. Bring it on. What kind of move would this guy have? Bright burn. Or burn bright said Scourge. Let the China man. Or I even know how to read, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but whatever. Wow, his eyes got fiery. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you know it's real when his eyes start getting fiery. But this, look at this guy. It looks like a fucking dragon. Holy shit. Okay. Let's get it right here, guys. What's a Sensor Storage going to do? Here we go. Max Rock Ball. Get that big old rock and squish that freaking worm. Look at that. And that's how you win a match right there, guys. And the Sandstorm has kicked up. Say goodbye to Senta Scorch. And there you go. Alrighty, and Michelangelo grows another level. And yes, we are victorious right here. That is a good Michelangelo right there. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Great Pokemon and great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Oh, yes. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. And here he is. I'm often regarded as the first real roadblock of gym, uh, of gym challenge. And, you, and yet you defeated me. Clearly your talent surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. All right, let's shake hands. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad that I could battle you today. Let me give you the fire badge as proof that you defeated me. 
All righty. Shake my hand. Tell me your secret to your leg days and give me that badge. There it is, guys. Man, Kabu does not, he does not miss out on leg day. All right, so now we can capture Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to the Dynamax phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Gala region's uh, culture. And it's a young trainers who are responsible for keeping our culture alive. Of course, I hope that instead of just keeping it alive, you also help, be uh, help it become better. We adults will be pillars for you to build on. Okay, alrighty. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great. Oh, great. This guy. Draven! I figured that if anyone could do it, and you and Jang Mo'o would be the ones, but still! That match had me right on the edge of my seat. Challenger Draven! I see you've done a fine job collecting gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you accomplished here today. And there it is. We got ourselves the TM38 Will-O-Wisp, a move that they've used a lot on me. The user shoots a Sinister Flame at the target to inflict a burn and take one of our uniforms. It will be the same design as Kabu himself wears. And look at that. We got ourselves a fire uniform. I think you've proven your skill well enough to try your hand against gyms that await you starting in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild area surrounding this city, then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the gym badges uh, we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should be able uh, we should be all right even against the fierce Pokemon you'll find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out for ourselves. Okay, alrighty. So that is uh, that that right there is how you do it, guys. And well, that is three badges, three friggin' badges. And wow, seriously, guy, just leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be walking away from the gym and. Well, hurry it up, Draven. Okay, huh? Seriously, dude, teach me your leg day. You're the gym leader, but you still came all this way to see uh, us off. Oh, I bet you go. Over, uh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one that who will become the next champion. Yeah. Really, man. Seriously, you gotta. You. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know what to say about this guy. I really do not like him. There are many trainers who never manage to gather the three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make it a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Well, hello, hello. The girlfriend is here. Wow, she is, uh... Mm, 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 mm. Anywho, whew, we made it. Thank goodness for the flying taxis. Draven, hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing that you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We'd like to get together and see them off as a way of showing off our support. So allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Oh damn. Hustle, 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 Hob. You can do it. You can do it, Draven. Oh wow. Okay, so that was pretty good, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. The gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you will prevail. Believe in your Pokemon. Keep on pushing on. Thank you all. We're gonna keep winning. We've got, we got to, uh, we got to if we want to face off the Champion Cup after all. Come on, Draven. Let's head to Hammerlock. Okay. Alrighty. Bye, love. Okay. So the next area that we have to go to is Hammerlock, and now it does get a little interesting because we will be exploring just a little bit more of this wild area right here. Well, hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. Draven, Hammerlock is up this way, or that way. Got it? So, now, we're going to be going through that bridge. And yeah, you could uh, you could certainly rush straight through uh, there without a detour. But now that you you and I have gotten a few badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So, I know what I'm going to do. I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill the next page of the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. The heck? The champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you two. Well, he was more off the off his rockers for that guy, but not me. I don't even know. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokemon a uh, Pokeball properly. Rubbish. 
More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. Oh, great. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the finest champion this world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. <laughs> how tiresome. Fine, I'll batter you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on, then. I know you challenged Draven to battle in Gallarmine number two and lost to him there, and I'm his greatest, greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this pa all this prattle about Draven and the and the champion and whatnot. Do you not know? Do you not have anything of your own to show? Really, this guy has a point. I'll show you the, this Wally my wait 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 hold on. I'll show you this Wally my real skills in battle. See you later, Draven. Let's meet up at Hammerlock when I'm uh, when I'm through with him. Okay, alrighty. So that is that right there, and well, the next area we're gonna be going to, guys, is right up here. Now that we actually defeated three gym leaders, we are able to actually capture stronger Pokemon. And uh, the other thing too, guys, this is gonna enable me to actually train a little bit more, capture some more of these uh, G Gigantamax Pokemon. And trust me on this one right here. That area is long and it is gonna be hard, so yeah, we're gonna be in for quite an adventure once we head on over there. The next maybe episode or two, I think it might be just one episode just to get through this whole area, but what I'm probably going to be doing is I'm going to be battling a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to be training a lot of the Pokemon and, and, and catching them. Uh, as I said before, I do have quite a few Pokemon on in the in the PC to actually, uh, you know, to actually train up. Not only that, but I'm going to let the day progress in order for my Pokemon who are doing jobs right now, grow levels and all that stuff. So this is a big, big step. I know that, you know... Well, I, I didn't necessarily plan for me, you know, battling the gym leader, the gym leaders right now at this level. But once you defeat the third gym leader, it gets a little tougher, and this is when you start you you have to start using some newer Pokemon and all that stuff. And that is the plan for me. I do believe the next gym is a ground type gym leader. Now, if this was Pokemon Shield, it would be an ice type gym leader. So. What's going to happen right now first is I'm going to go to, to the Pokemon Center and I'm going to see if there's another job available for us. That way I can get more Pokemon out for jobs and gaining more levels. So let's go right ahead and get in this and go into the Poke Jobs. Congratulations, that new badge of yours has opened the door to some new jobs. Check them out. Alrighty. So let's see. We got three new jobs, or four new jobs right here. As you can see, this one, you need six Fire-type Pokemon. We are looking for Psychic-type Pokemon so they can uh, sense the thoughts and needs of any of it, or any customer experience troubles. And I'm not going to do that right now. One man's poison is another man's tonic. We would like Poison-type Pokemon to prepare prescriptions. And this one right here is we use extremely hard rocks for grinding and polishing our lenses. We would like to recruit Rock-type Pokemon. And it needs five of those rock type Pokemon. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff off screen, guys. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just grinding. And uh, let's see. Well, I do have quite a few fire type Pokemon, including uh, you know Zoro right here, Score Bunny, Poison type, Psychic type. I got a lot of them, and I'm gonna be doing a lot more capturing. Hell, I might even be using some Pokemon on my current team in order to to get by this whole thing. So. I got a lot of work to a lot of work to do, guys, and I'm actually very, very, very excited. Um, also, I will be organizing my boxes that way. You know, you guys can see that. You know, hey, here's my teams. Here's uh, Gigantamax Pokemon, rare Pokemon, and whatnot. Yeah, I'm gonna be organizing the crap out of this thing because this game is, uh, man, it has opened up a lot of doors. So. Let's see. Let's go right ahead and take a look at our league card right here. So here is our current gym badges. We got three of those gym badges. We got a lot of money. We got a nice amount of watts. Pokemon up to level 50. We'll be able to actually uh, listen to our requests. I do believe we do have one Pokemon above level 50, so that guy is out of the question. And then, yes, Pokemon up to level 35 we can actually capture. And, well... Look at that. We, we, yeah, we, we did a lot in a few days. So, yeah, guys, <laughs> we got a lot to do. So, thank you guys for watching. 
I will see you guys in the next episode. And this one, this next episode might be a long, long one. So there's going to be a lot of talking. So stay safe, guys. Stay positive. Uh, yeah. Merry, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Kwanzaa. I will see you guys next time.